please, before making this load for anybody, do well to advise the person. It's either the person wears get do. Don't let anybody lie for you. Most of our celebrities that you see with their shapes is not their tummy. You, of course, you know a lot of them go for surgery, but then a lot of them go on ghetto, serious ghetto. So before you will make this gown for somebody, please do well to advise the person. But if the person still goes ahead to say, okay, I can tuck in my tummy, I can use waist trainer, okay? Now, let me show you what else you can do to help you achieve this, and that is waist snatching. That is, after you have applied your princess that, you snatch the waist. Okay, now let's snatch this particular waist and you see how it's going to look like. Okay, now, hey guys, you're welcome to this channel again today. So we are making this beautiful um, gown. Now the beauty of this style is that it helps you manage your fabric, okay? I've marked out my front line, front neckline, okay? I'm marking out the front because when you get the front, you have gotten the back. Of course, you know that in this particular style you are seeing okay you are going to be using the person's exact neck measurement and you know the formula to get it that's what is on the screen okay now for the back neckline you know you can come down by just one inch and you'll be fine okay so this is the shoulder line and i've come down by one inch okay then i mark my armhole depth that i've already measured okay now uh, this is my princess that I've marked it out half inch by this side, half inch by this side. Then I extended this particular one by one inch and then I drew out my new armhole. Guys, I hope you know the description. In, go to the description link below and you will see the video I posted there of how to create your basic bodies or print your princess that. So, what I'm doing now will not be, uh, I'm just brushing through. Let it not just be that I went into the tutorial. Okay, so let's go so now remember i told you whatever you have okay should there should no be no curving no sharp edges okay so you are going to cover out your lines you know how I, we got here this is our bust point this is our under bust line this is our waistline this is our hemline okay so now you come down by one inch i removed now for this star okay for this star the bust area has to be highlighted if you don't highlight it it won't really be that fine so you need to use this princess that to highlight the bust area okay so now you came down by one inch removed one inch by this side remove one inch by this side that is on the under bust line then on the waist line remove half inch remove half inch and then just a little bit below the waistline if you can not remember or can measure that just know that your that shouldn't get to your hip line okay it should be two or three inches above the hip line okay and then you mark out your remember that this is your bust line bust pan this line is your bust pan the calculation for bust pan is on the screen do well to look at it now there is a detail about this i told you guys this tutorial is about details the way you cut it you won't get exactly this it might be beautiful though but if you are looking how to cut this star you have to watch this tutorial that is if you don't already know how to cut it now while you are marking you know that when what we do normally is bust divided by four plus two inches allowance right no don't put two inches allowance now yes do not put two inches allowance now this is your pattern right after cutting it out here yeah, is on the fabric you put the two inches allowance okay reason being that there's a job to be done here and that job to be done does not need to include allowance. So what I have here marked is boss point divided by four, and that's all, no allowance. Under boss divided by four, plus these two inches that I took away from here, and that is all, no allowance. Waistline divided by four, plus this half half inch, this one inch here, okay, that is all, hip line, the same thing. There was no sewing allowance yes there's no sewing allowance to this effect by this side now then this is your hemline okay if you look at this picture properly you will see that the flay area did not start on the waistline look at it very well you will see it started somewhere between the hip line and the waist area so let's even assume that it's going to come down a little bit don't let it get to the half 
halfway or you can make it halfway but i think i suggest you don't make it get to half of the distance okay just a little bit before you get to the half line now this is where it came down to okay so let's even cut it out so that it okay so this is going to be a six pieces gown okay because this is on fold and it's going to be one but this one will be cut into two that is three in front and three in back i will suggest you still make the back six pieces but you know when you get to the back okay if you need to see the illustration for the back let me know i will upload it okay it's already there because this video was used for my master class so uh if you need to see the back anybody that needs to just let me know I will, I will still upload it here okay but if you got the front you will definitely get the back now when removing this that for the back you know that you're not going to be removing all this right we've already talked on how to do that okay we are not removing this that if possible okay just cut it just map it out the way you did it for this and don't remove that just a little Okay, just a little so that everything balances okay so now this is your front pattern right so we are we don't have any issue with this one where we have issue is this one okay now you can add style to yours if you want to add style okay style that i mean is you know that here i cut my own straight right I cut it straight so you can decide that your own should will not go straight you can decide to slant it you can decide to cut it this way anyhow you want but i just want to go with this straight line okay that i'm slitting my own straight now this is how i'm slitting mine now okay so i'm setting this aside now these two i'm going to be setting aside okay so this is what i'm working on this is what carried my flame now i will start slitting it because i want to use this to form a flame now, you might be thinking eh, eh, i know how they follow each other i prefer mark marking it one two three four five don't say because they are all of the same shape so for that reason i will just arrange them anyhow no to avoid confusion okay just mark it just let know that this one is following this one this one is following this one this one is following this one this one is following this one, this one, following this one. then you all set it out set it aside and you take another pattern paper just watch what i'm doing i want to put it on a pattern paper but you can as well arrange it on your fabric but i want to put it on pattern when i put it on pattern I will now transfer whatever I cut out from here to the pattern, to the fabric. So it becomes very easy for me to do. Now you watch what I'm going to be doing. This is the first one. Okay, I start from the beginning. I'll bring it down because this thing will be turning this way. If you place it like this, like this, like this, you will see not, all you will just achieve is fullness okay only we achieve is fullness but if you make it torn you will not achieve flay okay we want to we want to you see what i'm saying i have mistakenly taken this one that is supposed to be here okay so it's correct now now i said if you space it out this way and cut the effect you are going to get is just fullness but if you make it torn that is when you are going to be getting flame now when you are making it torn the distance is here okay should be the same if you are going to be spacing it for two two inches make sure it's two two inches together if you are going to be spacing it for three three inches make sure it's three three inches together okay now i want to space for one inch you measure now you can watch what i'm doing make sure it turns very well okay
Uh, you can as well not slit through. You can as well just cut it and leave it this way to join. So that, but if you do this, you will not achieve fullness on this side. So why I slit it out is because I want everything. I want to achieve fullness in every corner of it. Okay. I want to achieve fullness in every corner of it. Okay, so because of the sizes I'm using, I'm not going to be using tape roll. But when you are doing yours, please do well to use tape roll to make sure that the distance here will be the same with the distance here, will be the same with the distance here, with the same to, with the distance here, with the same with the distance here. Okay, when you do it this way, you are going to achieve fullness and you are going to achieve flay. Now you mark it out. I've marked it out. Now there's something I forgot to let us know. Before you start slitting, okay, before you start slitting, right, this, uh, the pattern was like this okay the pattern was like this before you started slitting maybe because i cut slitted it equal you can afford to slit it anyhow you like but please to be on the safer side and always master it so it becomes very easy for you now to be on the safer side measure the slitting if you are slitting it two two inches, it should be two two inches all round. Three three inches, it should be three three inches all round. Four four inches, it should be four four inches all round. Okay. Now, before you start slitting, you have to measure from here to here. Let me use this one so that it will stay for me to measure. Okay. You have to measure from here to here, and I got six cm. You can use your inches. Though. I'm using this one because the measurement is small. Okay, I got six in uh, cm. Let's assume I got six inches. Okay, I got six inches. Now I have placed it and I have achieved my play, right? Okay. Bear in mind that we got six inches. We'll bring back our front pattern. This is it now okay when cutting it on, on your fabric do well to notch these areas notch it these two areas so that when you are joining the fabric back okay all of them will align now the part we cut out this is what we now have now now when you are pleating it okay you are going you know we measure six inches right okay even if you made a mistake why cutting it you can now come and measure here this edge here okay and you find out that okay it was six cm that is we assume six inches right now you are going to be pleating this area okay you are going to pleat this area to pleat this area make sure you pleat this area to be exactly six inches okay now somebody said mama why don't you just put your material on fold okay so that on the fabric you are going to cut this place on fold now if you cut it and there's a fold in here it might confuse you okay as a beginner it might confuse you so i will prefer you cut like this join this one to this one pleat it you pleat it out okay you pleat it out you pleat it and you join to this one first okay after joining to this one you now pick it and come to this place and now join everything straight down now why cutting it when you join this part when you have finished joining this part to the when you have joined this part to this side and you have not brought it to join it together with this one okay and you have not brought it to join it together with this one 
when you open it up you see your front pattern is complete the way you cut the front pattern is the way you are going to cut the back pattern and then you join all of them join all together and attach your cup sleeve okay the sleeve you have there is the cup sleeve now if you want to still snatch the waist of this gown okay if you want to still snatch okay after you applying your princess that and all that and all that you still find out that the shape okay that the shape that is on this gown you didn't really get it let me tell you another thing that you can do for somebody that is that does not really have plenty figure eights if you have flat tummy by the time you do only this one okay you will get exactly this shape okay but if you are on the side that okay the plus side a little bit of plus side and please before making this clothes for anybody do well to advise the person is either the person wears ghetto don't let anybody lie for you most of our celebrities that you see with their shapes wowing and wowing in their stars okay is not their tummy you of course you know a lot of them go for surgery but then a lot of them go on ghetto serious ghetto serious one okay we'll be sitting in the feet eat so before you will make this gown for somebody please do well to advise the person but if the person still goes ahead to say okay i can talk in my tummy i can use waist trainer okay now let me show you what else you can do to help you achieve this and that is waist snatching that is after you have applied your princess that you snatch the waist okay after you have applied the princess that you snatch the waist now let's snatch this particular waist and you see how it's going to look like okay now you set this aside okay after you have cut this out you set it aside now you will come here you will measure from here to here and you know we got 6 cm now you will determine the center of this place this particular side pattern and the center is 3 cm this is it okay the center is 3 cm you will take this and mark up to make a straight line okay you will make a straight line from here from a little bit above the under bust down to that line that you marked okay now you do not have anything to do with this under boss but you have something to do on the waistline we are trying to snatch the waist now you are going to come in here by what's coming by half inch okay and still coming here by half inch okay now you will do something like this you will take it down use a straight line take it down use a straight line again and take it down to this place now whatever inches you took here reduce it on getting to this place so if you took half inch from here take quarter inch from here and quarter inch from here and then you come in like so okay then you come in like so okay now you cut out okay so on your fabric you are going to cut it this way and then you join it like so okay you join it okay by the time you join it you will find out that this place is going to cup a little okay it will cup a little adding extra cup to this bust part okay but do it in a way that it does not really it's not going to be more obvious now the difference between what we have done here now the difference between what i took out here is more true yes so what you are going to take here should be more than what you are taking from here you can see the wideness is much so this is much but it's actually a rough work so on getting to this place what you are supposed to take from here is not supposed to be more than one inch okay it's not supposed to be more than one inch remember that this thing you're taking that means you're taking one inch from here and one inch from the other side so whatever you are doing here should not be more than one inch then you join okay now when you join it 
then you join it okay now when you join it m the difference is that princess that whatever you took from here you are going to add it here okay but this one whatever you took from here you don't add yes whatever you have cut out here you will not add it but whatever you cut out here you are going to add it here okay but this one you don't add it so it tightens the waist so guys that's all if you need me to upload the video on her you know here i'm just managing our data i don't want us to waste data it's only in a master class that i can really stay and say i am uploading everything but here is just to give you an idea but after i have posted whatever video i posted and you know okay you don't understand you need more please let me do you know i will still upload the fabric part of it so just to manage our data i wouldn't want to be uploading uh, videos that people will not watch because if you follow this my tutorial you will understand and you find out that you don't even need to watch the other video okay but in case if you do not understand do well to let me know so that i can upload the video on the fabric thank you guys for watching see you in the next video